How we all doing again? It's me, it's Traff, your buddy. Got a new toy. Not this one, it's over here. But this, this is the car battery monitor digital thermometer, two in one. I have two. So, not two in one, but two. All right, what we have, and you'll see it, I'll display, you know, plug it in. But you have a Fahrenheit readout and you have a voltmeter. Uh, this is a little antenna that right here for the thermometer. This goes in your cigarette lighter. You can use it on any cigarette lighter 12 volt system. And there was something in there talking about even on a 24 volt system on the back. And it's got a little gauge on here. It tells you uh, if your voltage is too high, if you're charging, or if it's battery, or if it's 24 volt, but, you know, it's charged too high. If it's battery, um, it's 412 and 24 volt. The model is a DF01-TV.1. I'll have it where I got it on Amazon. You can get two for like 19 bucks. <coughs> but the reason why I got this is because we go out riding four wheelers. Now, the thing is, is um, I don't do well in anything above 85 degrees. My body cannot adjust to it. So either one or two things happens. I profusely sweat or I become one hell of a tyrant. And it's not by a choice. It's because my body uh, got altered about 19 years ago by a stick of lightning. And ever since then, my body cannot manage temperature. But anyways, enough said. Just make this short and point. Anyways, like if you've got a four-wheeler or you're anything that's outside and you want to know if it's charging or if it's not charging or what the battery is it's a quick loop you plug it in it'll give you a display as long as it's got power going to it um i don't know what the lowest reading is i'm pretty much saying it'd probably go to the ground i got a feeling it'd probably go as low as six seven volts but i'm not 100 sure i just got this in yesterday and i'm willing to give it a shot but like i said I don't really need it on my four-wheeler so much as I need it on the wife's because the thing is, is with hers, we really can't, hers, hers is a 2003 Polaris 330 Magnum, and I put a 12-volt uh, receptor on there, but the problem is, is with hers, hers is so, there's no gauges, so you don't know what you got. Um, the only gauges that she has is her little bar gauges that tells her whether or not she's in neutral reverse park what have you but this little thing is something that I've been needing you can even plug it in your vehicle so let's say you're driving down the road and you don't have a voltmeter in your car plug that thing in and it's pretty accurate so far what I've seen it's within the accuracy is usually about 0.1 or 0.2 of the volts it's reading out either on the vehicle itself or if I use an ohms meter or voltmeter so next shot will be just showing what it looks like but like I said that's what it looks like it's a nice little cigarette lighter just be wary of the antenna you know be careful it's and they're pretty good but don't manhandle or overpress or get nuts with it but next spot I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on the uh, four-wheeler okay here it is on my four-wheeler it's just on the side of mine mine's just a player's 400 sportsman but basically, um, I have it on. It's got 12 volts sitting in there. All right, this is what I did to my wife's four-wheeler. And if you can see from here, it's got 77 degrees and it's 12.1 volts. But what I did is I made a little 12, 12 volt receptor right there. So when she's out riding, she can tell what it is. But on ours, I made an on-off switch. You can see it. As long as it's 12 volts to there, it's on. We're good to go. Thought I'd share that with you. Hope you all have a great day.